Well, check this out. If you've driven around Charlotte, you have probably seen Abel Jackson's beautiful and powerful murals. One of his latest was unveiled earlier this year. It came through a partnership with historic West End Partners. WCNC Charlotte photojournalist Ruben Wallace talked with Jackson about the meaning behind some of Charlotte's most familiar art. My main thing is to be true to myself and express myself freely and fully and then share that with other people. The Charlotte art scene has had ebb and flow. So it's always had a powerful art scene. And then for a little while, the kind of art scene kind of dispersed a little bit, but now we're seeing a resurrection in the art scene where it has um, kind of grown bigger and more powerful than ever. My favorite is the mural I did on 36th Street. If you, if you go down North Days and take a left on 36th Street, once you go over the tracks, you see the bridge, then you look to the left. The title of it is, is Self Love. The young lady has on the, uh, the headphones, she's listening to music. That can help pick up your spirit, can help pick you up when you're in a down state. The second one is Imagine with Love. So you have the uh, young boy, he is imagining love. He got his eyes closed, but he's using his imagination. The third little girl, it says be, it's like be love. That means that you just put your state self in a state of love and just be playful with it and, and, and tap into your inner child. We have the piece I did on Mecklenburg Investment Company, Brooklyn Collective. That piece is very important to me because it really, once again, helped to capture the history of uh, the, the city. And what was really important to me is that I did not know the history before I did the mural. At the top, you have uh, Thaddeus Tate, uh, Dr. JT. You also have um, uh, William C. Smith. The original picture of those three boys was an old photograph that was taken where they was kind of postured in front of rubble where their high school had been uh, torn down. Now they're looking at, at the success. It's good to have both of those stories when you're looking at your history. Even though there's a lot of events going on, current events that have been brought to the attention, some of the things that's, that's on the table right now are things that's been around for my whole life. It's just coming, it's just like everything in the, in the dark is coming to the light. It's not necessarily like I feel the need to address issues specifically because of what's going on. It's just, I, I, I will automatically address those issues just by expressing myself and being myself and doing myself. Wow, nicely done, Ruth.